We're going to Banff next month. I am so excited that I decided to film a video inspired by all the outdoorsy things that we'll be doing, all the hikes that will be going on. And I think this will also be a great video if you have an upcoming cottage plan with your friends. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be hiking, just something very comfortable, very outdoorsy and relaxed. But at the same time, we definitely want to look cute for those photos, right? So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'll be sharing some of the very easy outfits that I have planned and also some of my favorite summer accessories. And thank you so much to Sojo's for sponsoring the sunglasses part of this video. And let's get started. And I will also include the links of everything that I've worn and talked about in the description box below so you guys can go and check that out. The glasses I was wearing in the previous outfit are these ones and they are called the Eternal and I particularly love the oversized look of these sunglasses. A lot of times with the oversized sunglasses that I have at home, they claim to be oversized but because I have such a wide cheeks over here, um, it doesn't necessarily look oversized anymore once I put them on. So I really love the shape of these. I actually feel like they look oversized on me for once. And I also love the color of the metal that they have. It's a very nice shade of gold. It looks very polished and very smooth. Definitely looks really high quality. The quality of these glasses has definitely blown me away, especially for the price. And typically, I would always try to find glasses that has these um, silicone nose pad because um, I don't know if you guys can tell, my nose is actually really flat. I don't really have like a tall nose bridge. Usually, without the support of the silicone nose pad, the glasses will end up just resting on my cheeks and um, it doesn't feel comfortable, especially when I usually have makeup on when I'm out. So, you know, it gets gross pretty quickly. Um, but for these ones, um, they're really comfortable to wear even when I smile. Mm, they don't really touch my cheeks at all, which I really do love. And the pair that I wore in that outfit is this one and this one is called Journey. This one is so extremely light and flexible. Can you guys see this? How flexible it is? It's very easily bendable almost, especially over here, making the glasses very comfortable. It was actually so light that it kind of threw me off when I first took this out of the box. Um, I actually thought like they forgot to include the glasses and I just got the, the box. But when I opened it and I held it, I was like, what? This is absolutely crazy. I don't have any glasses that are as light as these ones. And also love that it's got a matte finish to match the sportiness of the glasses that it's going for. So as you guys can see, this is the problem that I was talking about earlier, the how it just like sits on my cheeks like this without a nose piece. I do notice that there is a benefit for having the glasses sitting so close to my face because sometimes when I'm wearing the glasses with a nose piece, the nose piece makes the glasses sit really far away from my face and sometimes it just so happens that there's just that one ray of light that goes right between my face and 
the sunglasses and causing a huge glare right in front of my eyeball which can be pretty distracting so this one i feel like gives off a very well-rounded protection almost And the glasses I was wearing in that outfit are these ones and they're called Bora. I love a good polygon looking glasses and the funny thing is I actually have another pair from Chloe that looks quite similar I would say but I was actually thinking about selling the one that I have from Chloe because I don't know what it is about this Chloe one it is so extremely heavy I can't really wear this I've even tried making this my driving sunglasses but it's just so heavy it really gives me a headache and it makes me want to throw up sometimes so I'm really glad that you know I was able to find like a very similar style and these ones are way lighter I mean there's also a lot of metal on here as well but I feel like the metal on here is just lighter but it definitely doesn't look cheap but it just feels so much more comfortable on the face when I wear this one yeah overall I'm really impressed with the quality especially that I have the Chloe one to compare so I really didn't know like how I would like this one but in terms of quality I am really impressed So the other two sunglasses, I didn't get a chance to pair them in my outfit just because I don't feel like they exactly fit the outdoorsy theme but they still look awesome and I figure I might as well just share them here as well and the one that I have here is called Bella this one for some reason gives me major girl boss kind of vibe and whenever I wear them, I feel like I should have some paparazzi around me like the moment that I put it on, I just feel like someone's trying to take a photo of me <laughs> And if I could, I would love to wear this around inside an airport because that's what I'm feeling when I have these on. And I generally never pick plastic framed glasses because of the nose piece thing like I mentioned a billion times. But this one is kind of magical. This one doesn't have a nose piece but it doesn't touch my face. Um, like it barely touches but it doesn't touch. I don't know how it does that. It feels so secure on my face. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just, I've never had a pair of glasses like this. I've heard when I went to my um, usual glasses store that some brands are coming out with more of like an Asian fit glasses. I don't know if this one would technically be considered that because when I try those on in um, a sunglasses store, usually the Asian fit glasses are meant for, you know, people who have a lower nose bridge. And I feel like this might be considered that. And how do you like these ones? <laughs> this one is definitely a bit out of my comfort zone. I usually never go for small glasses because I always think my face looks big and I needed something bigger to make myself look smaller in comparison. But this one is really fun. It looks so vintage. I feel like this one would look really cool for a party or if you're going somewhere that you want to take some really fun photos like for a photo shoot or something. I think the hollow design over here is really cute, giving it a bit of a cat eye that makes your face like lifts your face up a bit like this and i also have this in a bunch of really fun colors as well i actually don't remember why i got this black one thinking back i think i would have preferred like a pink one to match the playfulness of 
the glasses. I think this looks so fun. Maybe not my personal choice for everyday glasses, but it looks really cool and the quality on this looks amazing as well. There's just so much little details on here that completes the look. One thing I want to point out in case you want to pick up these glasses is that the back design over here is a bit pokey, um, especially in the process of putting them on. I do feel them you know, touching my head just ever slightly so. Once it's actually on, I don't really feel anything at all with the pointy design. It just feels like any other glasses. And yeah, it definitely looks very sexy, I think. It actually matches what I'm wearing right now. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the outfits that I have planned for your next hiking or cottage trip. And I do have an affiliate link with Sojo's and I'll leave it down below. And I will be getting a small compensation for any sales that are made through the link. So if you're interested in making a purchase and you want to use my link, thank you so much for your support. And I also do have a 15% off coupon code. So whether you use my link or not, you can always check out the coupon code, which is Muja, and I'll have it right here. So I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.